And we're back on the roof. And uh, this is just a little tech tip. So if you're ever working on a train unit and you see you got test one and test two, you can actually use this to test the unit. So what you do is you take your jumper cable, you're gonna put one on test one, and then you'll put the other one on test two. Now you can just leave it on there and it'll cycle through everything, but it'll do it real quick. So it won't get through like the entire, you know, ignition process for heat. So what I like to do is I will touch it and hold it. All right, and then remove it. So that first one is gonna turn on the fan and uh, just turn on the fan. So the second one, touch it and hold it for about three seconds. That's gonna cause the, uh, the economizer to open. And then if you touch it and hold it for another three seconds, that's gonna turn on the air conditioning. And if you touch it and hold it again, that's gonna turn on the heat. And you can tell you're in test mode because this light, which is blinking right now, I don't know if you can see it, that, that green one, uh, usually it's solid. So when you see it's blinking, that means you're in test mode. So there's my heater. Uh, now, like I said, if you just leave this on here, it'll cycle through everything in that order but uh it's like for like 10 seconds or something like that so um, when you're trying to diagnose it, it, it's too quick i want to make sure this heater turns on all right cool so the heater turned on so you can see here that that light is currently flashing so we're going to do this again and that's going to take us out of test mode and you can see that that light is now solid so yeah that's one nice thing about these train units if they have this little thing on there makes it way easier to test.